And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, on this night, back in 1877, a squall line of severe storms raked the Midwest while blizzard was raging in the Dakotas. Now, a tornado embedded in this line of storms completely demolished the United Brethren Church near Onward. That's in eastern Cass County, and it appears that tornado, which could have been in uh, EF2 or EF3, tracked across Cass County and through Miami County as well. And there were other tornadoes reported in Missouri and Tennessee and possibly even Illinois. In our weather, we do have some thunderstorms on the way. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a great day, but uh, a few showers and thunderstorms uh, Thursday morning and a very early Thursday afternoon, then a break but more widespread rain and thunderstorms towards Thursday evening and a brief little cool snap with more showers and storms early next week. And both of these times, the severe weather threat's gonna get very close to our area. Then a sharp cool down and we could have some of the warmest weather of the year so far once we get a little closer to the 14th or 15th and then maybe some severe weather around the 16th. 36 tomorrow morning, patchy frost, 68. Mostly sunny tomorrow afternoon, winds south and southwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour. There's our next system headed our way, kind of two pieces here. And there's the warm front. That's the warm front as it lifts northward will cause us to get into the 70s over part of the area by Thursday, despite some showers and storms. 35 tonight, Dayton, 36 Otterman, but freezing from Star City and Logansport to Galveston. There's the 65 to 70 de uh, degree day tomorrow. 70 Covington and Morocco, 67 at Delphi, and about 68 degrees towards Romney, Dayton, and West Lafayette. Warmer still Thursday, upper 60s to the 70s, including 73 Crawfordsville, 74 Covington, and about 71 degrees at Lafayette. On our Precision Futurecast, this is updated data. We have new data that comes in at 11 o'clock each night. This is 103 tomorrow afternoon. Perhaps a few high thin wispy clouds increasing tomorrow afternoon, but that is it. And that'll be the case tomorrow evening as well. But more widespread cloud cover comes in by early on Thursday morning. You can see the sky is going overcast pretty quickly and a few scattered showers, perhaps even a little thunder coming in around 8 o'clock in the morning and then a wave of some scattered showers and thunderstorms mid late morning into the midday hour and very early afternoon. But notice by 2.30, 3 o'clock, we get a little bit of a break. The sun comes out a little bit. It'll be humid, windy. It's really going to feel and smell like spring outside. And then more widespread showers and storms coming in the evening. This is 6.10 and notice even 6.35 showers, some thunderstorms. That's about 840 and still some showers around as late as 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on Friday night. And I do think on Friday itself, another wave of showers will come into the area. It's kind of a showery day Friday, at least the, the first two thirds of the day. Severe weather, you know, I've expanded this a little bit since six. It looks unstable enough for severe weather as far uh, northeast as Danville, Illinois. It's going to be a close call for us. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll have a new update tomorrow. Cam will be in in the morning. 71 Thursday, 54 then falling Friday, 50 and 59 respectively over the weekend. And finally, some rain late Monday will give way to some more showers and storms with a severe weather threat close to the area, 73 Tuesday. Well, the 70s are coming back though. That's just they a good are. thing. And I, yeah. it's been a long winter, so it's good it to has. see spring stay around.